grill and piece of garlic naan, potatoes, and cheese eggs. With I'm about to get ketchup down. Yeah. Oh, I need some hummus too for my bread. So this is like a thousand, 1200 dollars, twelve hundred calorie meal, but that's okay. Because it's breakfast and we're going to be working a lot today. Oh yeah, and I have some cottage cheese as well. Why is there an eyelash in my cottage cheese? Sugar. So many people are actually afraid of like using sugar in there. Whatever, I'm not on a diet. I'm not on a diet. I'm just trying to be healthier and more modest in my eating too. Which always seems to work better than like, okay, I'm going to cut out sugar, I'm going to cut out chips, I'm going to cut out bread. Oh my gosh, my stoop, my thing, uh, my swig of my vitamins. So um, this is going to be the only live I do today because it's cr like really crunch time. Like, um, we're going to be moving out of here sooner than I thought. Difference when I used to take them. A non-salt seasoning. You're right. There's seasonings on my potatoes. Oh, and happy birthday. It's um Missy Moo's baby Moo's birthday. So I want to say happy birthday. Hmm. Anyways, every time I make myself breakfast and like do what I'm supposed to do, I feel good. Okay, why are you guys so obsessed with Sala's business? Tinky Winky, can you uh, can you answer that? Like, why is that your business? I had milk. Sorry if I sound snippy. It's just that so many people are like being dumb and just juvenile about everything like let the guy have a job like you complained when i was with nat turd and he was leeching off of me now that i have somebody who's decent and is at least try at least has like a business and is at least trying and you know we're trying to improve our lives together we are doing a lot of things we're being productive he's not abusive so can it thank you cheers like, you think that just because, like, I don't know if people are trying to shame him, like, just because he's not a huge mega corporation owner is your husband? Like, <laughs> I, he's an amazing man, and I love him, and he's hot, so, and he's sweet, and he treats me well, and, yeah, he has a decent business from where he is from. So, no, it's not international. We don't ship, inter he doesn't ship international, nothing. <laughs> At least I know that I know him. Yeah, I just said. Mm. No, I just... I don't understand the invasive, the weird invasiveness. I think it's just like, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about his business. It's none of anyone's business. <laughs> so think what you want. Spread any rumors you want. None of them are true. That video you all are hoping is real, not. So about his business or something. I don't know. People are desperate for content. A question about, you asked me an innocent question about his business, okay? Then I answer and then it gets twisted and people use content on that and make up things and harass him in his business for days. That's how it goes. So we're not talking about his business, period. It was a mistake to even like mention that he had one, apparently. <laughs> days on the couch. I gave her breakfast. I'm really sad because if you don't want to be upset by talking about aging cats, then don't listen or leave now. I can tell she's like declining a lot. Like, uh... So she didn't even, like, I found it weird, but she didn't even come to my room last night. <laughs> Usually she's always in my room. And she's been, um, she goes to the washroom on the floor, but, like, not, the litter box is clean. It's, she's, she always does this, like, when I leave the house. So, like, she doesn't poop anywhere else. It's always at the bottom of the stairs at the door. So, like, no matter how many times I clean it, it doesn't matter. There's always one there. So I, <laughs> so I don't know what her deal is. I don't know if she doesn't like when I leave. Anyway. I told the vet about this many times, and they said it could be many different behavioral things. It's been, yeah, but then like I came downstairs today, she stumbles like she's having trouble even jumping on the couch. I have trouble, like but she did like a weird jump. Like she doesn't usually jump on my shoulder to get to the other side of the counter, and she that's why I was like ow. And then today, she's not she wasn't able to uh like she didn't hear me come in the kitchen. She was fast asleep, and when she was sleeping, she was like shaking a little bit. So I was like what the hell heck. And then I woke her up and she went eh, and she was like all confused. And then she saw me. And then she started crying. And she cries, like, her cries are a lot louder. And I think it's because her hearing is bad. She's old. She's 20, 21. Like, you know. So I'm just trying to, like, spend as much time with her and, you know, make her as comfortable as I can. She has an, a vet appointment um, this week. No, next week. She has a vet appointment on the 22nd. 
And then she, um, we're going to see, like, what the vet says. Go from there. So, I know older cats, like, I don't know. She's just, I can just tell. I've lived with her for, nobody judging me has lived with her. Like, I've lived with her for, like, many, many years. You know, I love her the most. <laughs> she's my girl, and I want what's best with her. I don't want to just get rid of her because I can easily rehome her. I have somebody who's willing to take her. She doesn't miss Sam. No, she seems actually happier to be alone. <laughs> Estrella. <laughs> when Sam was first gone, she was walking around the house like, but, um, oh, they have a toddler line. Oh, Ash, good luck. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Are you a businesswoman? Well, you're full of spry right now. I'm happy to see this. Let me move things for you. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even smoke. It's my asthma, I think. No, I'm not walking today. I have too much to do. I gotta get off of here soon. Sweet. Over here, sweet. I had, I, you know that since I had like a total hysterectomy, no ovaries, whatever, like, um, I was told by my surgeon, the gynecologist oncologist, when they did my surgery, that I should go on hormone replacement therapy because whenever you don't have estrogen, it like affects your whole body, like if you're not in natural menopause. So like your bone density, your heart, hair, everything, <laughs> hormones, right? <clears throat> so, um, I need to get back on the patch and like, I need to be seen at the woman's center or something. And I called them, like finally I called them and they had my referral and they're like, okay, we, you, you can do a call on the 26th of April. And I was like, but I'm going out of country for like, I don't even know when, how long. She's like, okay, well, we'll do a zoom call. And I'm thinking, it's probably going to be really hard to find those medications, like the type of patch or whatever I want over there. And just to avoid problems with that, I would rather stock up here and bring it with me. So, yeah, I stopped HRT. Just neglectful of my life, you know. Oh, I need to take that. So they actually, um, I guess, like, they're going to be able to fit me in. So before I go, I should have that. I still have some inhalers in Kuwait. And because um, we knew somebody who was able to, like, find my medication that I needed, like legally, of course, at a pharmacy. So, so I'm leaving, I'm leaving at the beginning of March and I, so before then I have to like, we have to book a moving van for Pete. Um, he's moving in somewhere where the renting a room. Uh, we have, I have to have all my stuff to get, uh, I have to have everything organized for people to come take my stuff. You know that, you remember that little tree? That little tree, um, so. <clears throat> no, Lucy's not gonna stay with his mom. It's not, she has a one bedroom, so. You want the fall tree? I want it. Look, if you guys want, like, I don't know. If you guys want, um, I wanna get rid of everything on the 23rd. My couch, my bed, everything is like gonna be free, pretty much. Yeah, everything's free. So I wanna set it up nice. People can come and browse like a little shopping center, but free stuff. <laughs> so if you are not a hater, and I, <laughs> You know, and you live in Ottawa, if you want to come take some things, that's totally fine. I don't mind. You can come say hey. But, like, I'm probably going to be busy. Like, I'm going to be getting rid of everything. <laughs> You'll need a floor mattress. So what I'm actually going to do um, is probably rent a hotel room from the 23rd, probably until I leave. Because I don't really feel, I don't really feel safe. I don't think staying at my mom's is a good idea people knowing where I am. I'm going to put batteries in the fall tree so people can, I don't know, I like to make people happy. Come stay with me and bring the beebs. <laughs> I was just going to stay at a crappy hotel and then we can make fun of it for a few days. <laughs> I want to have somewhere too that I can freely stream and not have to worry about people harassing and just like people being busy and you know, I'll be a bouncer at the door. <laughs> just stay with your mom. I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea, especially everything that's been going on. Return the key this time. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll get to stay at a place that doesn't have a key, need a key. Oh gosh. <laughs> we can't go. <laughs> Actually, some places are still nice with that. You know her when she was an elderly cat. Um, even since the beginning of YouTube, she's declined a lot. And I just don't, I'm so afraid of her like suffering and being in pain and especially hearing her cry, you know, loud. Like it's kind of freaky in the middle of the night, like, and like, she, like she's lost or something. So I have to get up and like, 
do that like loud for her to hear me. Sometimes Pete's even goes down and like brings her upstairs. Like I, I just don't want to see her like that, you know? And then to put her through trauma of being scared and adjusting to a new environment, you know, like, I don't know. I, I want to do what's best for her. So I'm really just going to leave it, leave it between me and the vet, you know, <laughs> at least hotels you can leave and just not clean. Exactly. <laughs> Don't use your real name at the hotel. You should know better by now. Yeah. Um, Gemini Gem, actually, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> but I haven't stayed in a hotel in a while. I like hotels. And I I found a pretty affordable deal at certain places. So I'm going to check it out and see if I can stay. So things are just in the works right now. And then, of course, to the airport we go. And then, of course... So you need to tell FFG, Naz, and Didi not to show up here. Okay, yes. So... Sorry, my nose is itchy, cat hair. No, I don't think Nad Turd and Doodoo -doo will show up. You're not welcome, but <laughs> obviously. But yeah, FFG, I might have to say that. And you and any of your friends, anyone related to you, anyone you know, anyone who has a reaction channel about me, pretty much. I mean, yeah, well, people from like Yaba won't show up. She's from the States. I don't know, maybe, I think Monty would, maybe. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Monty, but I'd be afraid of like everyone else, like certain people don't come near me. Can you snow angel bees? But yeah, basically just like, you know what I mean? Like if you're in the area, you know, you've watched my videos and you want some things, whatever. That's what I meant. But no, I, I'm going to be very selective about who I let in my home. It's not just going to be like, come in, you know, <laughs> potion. I'm going to be doing a lot of exercise today in the house, cleaning. Oh my gosh, I have so much cleaning to do and sorting. So I'm going to sort everything nice for whenever the giveaway is. I'll show you guys in my next live stream what the progress is, okay? So I'm not going to go live for the rest of the day because it just like, no, I, I'm not going to. I need to focus just on this.